Welcome back to another short bit segment from IG Apps. In a previous video, I covered how to programmatically change the style of text using Spanable String. In this tutorial, I will cover how to bold, italicize, underline, and provide a link for text in strings.xml. So I have an Android Studio project open over here, and additionally, I have the strings.xml file open from resources and then underneath values. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to activitymain.xml and create a couple of text views. That way I can set the text and see that it looks different. So Android margin top equals uh, 10 SP. I'm going to give it an ID of text. And I'm going to set its text. I'm just going to leave it blank for right now. But now I'm just going to take this text view and copy it uh, another two times and give it a different ID. And Android below, and then M plus ID text. And I'm going to do the same thing for this, except it's going to be below text too. So now, in order to create a new strings uh, strings.xml uh, value, what we have to do is head on over to the file. And just as we've done here for the app name, we're going to uh, make the opening tag and then type string. And for the name, I'm going to say something like bolded text. And then I'm going to close that. Now, in order to bold text, if you open another tag, you should see a list of options appear, and you're going to press on the B, and then close it, and it should auto-complete it for you. And basically, what this does is make our text bolded. So I'm going to say this is bolded text. I'm going to do the same thing a couple of times and say italicized text, and then underlined text. And I'm going to say this is italicized text. And this is underlined. And now what I'm going to do instead of having this B over here is use the I. And then it fixes that for me. And then instead of the B, I'm going to have a U. And this is going to make it underlined. So now I'm going to set the text of our text view by saying at string. And I can say at string bolded text. Then similarly for my text 2, I'm going to make it underlined by saying at string italicized text. And then for my third text view, I'm going to say at string underlined text. And now I'm going to run this. So the app has just finished running, and you can see here that the bold, there's bolded text. We also have italicized text, and we have underlined text. Now I'm going to provide a link for one of my string values. In our strings.xml, we're going to want to create a new string, and we're going to say link call it link text. And similar to, we're going to do something very similar to um, HTML, and say a then href equals and then we're going to provide a link so https google.com okay um i forgot an extra dash then i'm going to close this tag and inside here i'm going to provide the text i want to display so i'm going to say click me now i'm going to go to activity mean.xml and i'm just going to change this underlying text to a linked text and finally, what we have to do is go to our main activity.java. And there's something that we have to do programmatically. That way, the user can click on our text view and then be able to launch a link. So we're going to have to say text view, text equals find view by ID, or ID dot. And then I'm going to use text three. And now what we have to say is text dot set movement method. And then we say link movement, uh, movement method dot get instance. And now I'm going to run this. So here's my app, and I have this text over here. I'm going to click on it. And then you can see that it launches google.com as we provided in strings.xml over here. That's it for this short segment. Please share the channel with friends and subscribe if you haven't already. Until then, happy developing from IG Apps.